Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In today's video, let us discuss about Project Cheetah. Now Project Cheetah has been widely covered in news because recently our Prime Minister released wild cheetahs which had become extinct from India in the Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh. So let us begin by discussing the Project Cheetah. Cheetahs brought from Namibia are being introduced in India under this project. This is the world's first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project and out of eight cheetahs relocated there are five female and three male cheetahs while attempts to relocate the cheetahs to india began in 2009 it was only in 2020 that the supreme court of india finally gave the green signal for such efforts so the question arises why are cheetahs being reintroduced first of all the objective is to revitalize and diversify india's wildlife and its habitat now, as it is a flagship species, the conservation of the cheetah will revive grassland, forests and its biome and habitat, much like the Project Tiger has done for forests and all the species found in these forests. Now, the Project Tiger has also resulted in the conservation of 250 water bodies found in India's 52 tiger reserves. And the cheetah project is likely to have a similar impact. Now, this effort will also lead to enhanced livelihood opportunities for the local community through eco-development and eco-tourism activities. Now, another point is why it is particularly introduced in the Kuno National Park. Now, in the Shiopur district where the Kuno is located, rainfall levels, temperatures, altitude and conditions are similar to the conditions in both South Africa and Namibia. The park spans an area of 740 km square and has a healthy prey base that is of cheetal, sambar, nilgai, wild pig, chinkara and cattle for the cheetah. Moreover, the leopard and striped hyena are currently the only larger carnivores within the national park thus minimizing the chances of encountering larger predators. Further on in the Kuno National Park, because of the lion relocation project, the Madhya Pradesh Forest Department had already relocated 24 of the 25 villages and declared it as a national park. Now let us discuss about cheetah. They are currently classified under the genus Echinonyx, whose closest living relatives are cougars and jaguarundis. Cougars and jaguars and both of these wildcats are native to the Americas. Altogether, five subspecies of cheetah have been described. Northwest African cheetah, we have the East African cheetah, South African cheetah, North East African cheetah and the Asiatic cheetah. Now the cheetahs can reach speeds up to 64 miles per hour in 3 seconds, making them the fastest land animals in the world over short distances. Let us now discuss the difference between cheetah and leopard. First of all, cheetahs are commonly misidentified as leopards and vice versa since both big cats have prominent yet similar dark spots on their bodies. But there are many differences. For example, cheetahs boast a pair of dark coloured curved lines running between their nose and cheeks, while leopards don't have any unique face markings. Further on, the spots on their bodies also differ. The cheetah's fur is covered with round or oval shaped spots, whereas the leopard has distinctive spots on its fur called rosettes, resembling the shape of a rose. Moreover, a cheetah is slender lighter and taller than a leopard and it also has a semi-retractable claws allowing for swift movements when chasing prey at high speeds. Vocally, cheetahs chirp almost like a bird while leopards roar like other big cats. Now if we talk about the habitat of cheetahs, they live in a variety of ecosystems. For example, an open area with some cover such as diffused bushes, areas with greater availability of prey, good visibility and minimal chances of encountering larger predators are preferred and they seldom occur in the tropical forests. Now if we talk about the population and distribution of cheetahs, the majority of around 6,000 to 7,000 population of cheetahs in the world is of African cheetahs. Now cheetahs are mainly present in the southern African countries such as Algeria, Botswana, Central African Republic, Ethiopia, Kenya, South Africa and Zimbabwe among others. Moreover, Iran is the only country having the Asiatic cheetah numbering around 12. Now let us discuss on the conservation status of cheetahs. It is listed under Appendix 1 of the Convention on Migratory Species. Also it is listed under Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites and globally 
The cheetah has been classified as vulnerable in the IUCN red list of threatened species. In fact, all cheetah subspecies are listed as vulnerable by the IUCN except the Northwest African and the Asiatic cheetah which are critically endangered at present. Now let us discuss about the history of cheetah in India and its extinction. The cheetah has an ancient history in the country. The name cheetah is believed to have originated from the Sanskrit word chitrak which means the spotted one. In India, the cheetah population used to be fairly widespread. However, it was officially declared extinct by the Indian government in the year 1952. So what were the reasons for extinction? First of all, overhunting was a major contributing factor. Other reasons involve decimation, that means killing large proportion of a group of species, of its relatively narrow prey base species, and also the loss of its grassland forest habitat due to focus on agriculture. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now as usual, let us take up one practice question on it. Consider the following statements on cheetah. First, it is listed under Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites. Second, globally the cheetah has been classified as near threatened in the IUCN red list. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can choose from the options and you can write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, the correct answer is A. That is, only the first statement is correct. It is listed under Appendix 1 of the sites. The second statement is wrong, as globally the cheetah has been classified as vulnerable in the IUCN red list of threatened species. Therefore, the correct answer is option A only. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.